guys, we have uh, Councilman Brett Makar. Any questions for Brett? Go ahead and fire away. Hey, Brett, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you guys doing? Good. So entering this weekend, obviously facing a Duke team that has Michael Sowers, who's one of the towards on award finalists, and that's pretty hard to replicate. But for you guys as a defense, just how pivotal is it having Jared, who's also a towards on award finalist, so you have someone of that uh, caliber of talent knowing what you're facing against this weekend? How beneficial is that for you guys as a defensive unit? Yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, obviously, um, Sowers is a very talented player. And, and like you mentioned, getting to guard Jared every day definitely um, will kind of give you that sense that, that you're prepared. And obviously, our scout team as well has done a phenomenal job all year. Huge credit to those guys every single week that they make sure we're, you know, prepared as best as we can. And they're always giving us a great look. So uh, they've been phenomenal this week so far. And, um, you know, we're excited for, for this weekend. Hey, Brett, uh, Alex mentioned sometimes it's a little stressful watching uh, Logan wander out, out of the net there. Uh, can you just speak on uh, how confident you are in his kind of ability to scoop those ground balls and make those clears? Yeah, I think Logan's definitely one of the most sneaky athletic guys I've ever been around playing sports. You know, uh, you know, you wouldn't think from, you know, his stature, he, he's the fleetest of foot, but when he's out of the net, I, I have complete confidence that he, he's going to come up with that 50-50 ground ball and, and we're going to clear the ball successfully. That's just the kind of guy he is. And, and he's earned the trust of the entire defense. So anytime he's out of the net, and, um, you know, I know he, he knows that he's going to be able to make the play and uh, I know he's going to pick it up. So. And just a quick follow-up. Can you touch on the uh, contested ground balls? Your defense has been phenomenal all year with it, especially guys with uh, like Nick and uh, John Geppert. Yeah, no, that's, uh, as Alex mentioned before, that's a huge thing we harp on, you know, contested GBs, especially in, in the pain area of our defense. Um, you know, as soon as that ball goes on the ground, you know, we're kind of just like a pack of hungry wolves ready to, to jump on it. And, and we want to come up with it the first time and get the ball to our offensive players because, uh, you know, as I've said before, if we get the ball then we're, we're going to be in a good spot to score and, and win some games. Brett, um Last couple of weeks, especially, you've really elevated your game. Um, the whole defense has, but in particular, you've been really aggressive out on the perimeter and really hounding people looking for uh, opportune double teams. Can you talk about uh, your development and your confidence in doing that? Yeah, no doubt. I think it's just, um, you know, Coach Bernhardt has has really been putting a, an emphasis on, you know, dictating the tempo. We want to play at our speed. Uh, we can't, We want to control the way the flow of the game is going. Uh, dictate the way that the opposing offense is playing. So I think when we can get out and put some pressure on, on players, that, that helps us to our advantage. And, um, you know, anytime you can get the ball on the ground, pick it up and get it going the other way, it definitely gets all the guys excited and uh, definitely energy plays. So for me personally, you know, uh, I think Coach Bern Bernhardt's kind of given me the green light there to go out and, and try and make some plays. But, um, you know, it's almost like that controlled chaos. You know, you got to harness your energy properly when the opportunity is there. You, to take it, and if not, it, there's a time and place for it. So, Brett, last week we uh, we spoke to Logan, and he was talking about how it's nice to have guys like Jared and Anthony who have competed um, on championship weekend before, because a lot of you guys haven't yet. Has the message from uh, Jared and Anthony changed at all this week uh, about what to expect entering championship weekend, or has the message been pretty consistent like it has been all year? No, I think. Uh, you know, those guys obviously have, have the experience of playing in a Final Four weekend and they understand, um, you know, the stage and, um, you know, the importance of it. Um, but, you know, the same things that, that we've been doing all year, we think will, um, you know, bode well for us. Um, you know, obviously just following what the coaches are, are preparing for us, following the game plan, working as hard as we can through the week, pushing each other. Um, and I think that that's, the, you know, all we can do and, and the formula we, we've gone with all year has has boded well for us, like I said, and, and we're going to continue to stick with it. Hey, Brett, you know, anytime you have an overtime win, it's pretty exciting. It's even more exciting when it punches your ticket to a final four, a place you all want to be. Just that, going back to that win, you know, looking forward to this week, how excited are you guys just to play in this game and just, just to still be here and, and have a chance to be, you know, two wins away from a national championship? No, no doubt. I think, um, you know, that game was awesome and, and, you know, when the smoke clears and this is all said and done, hopefully we can look back on it and that'll be, you know, an awesome memory for everyone. But for the time being, that was awesome. And the best thing about this team, I've said it all year long, is we've had some great wins and, and uh, you know, we've been happy about those wins for that day. And then as soon as that day is over, we're ready to turn the page and we're on to the next one. I think that's been 
uh, something that's really special about this group is just the next one, the next one, the next play, the next game, whatever it is. And we're taking that with us this weekend. You know, that game was awesome. And, uh, you know, hopefully, like I said, we can look back on it. And it'll be a great memory one day. But for the time being, all, all we're thinking about is Saturday. Thank you. And, and Brett, Coach Tillman always has been talking about, you know, just having another week of, you know, this group together is a blessing. And he said that after the game on Sunday, knowing that this could be the last you know, weekend with this group together, how is that maybe going to push you guys uh, this weekend? Yeah, no doubt. It definitely gives you a little peace of mind knowing, you know, uh, no matter what, you know, you got as much time as you possibly could out of it, you know, practice wise. And um, it really does, you know, make you appreciate every single day a little bit more. Uh, it's very rare, I think, you get a group that's so talented across the board, you know, uh, a complete team, really, in all aspects. There's just so many talented guys, but also a group that really cares about each other. You know, there's, there's a chemistry within this group that, uh, you know, I personally really haven't experienced on, on many teams in my entire life, whether it's high school, college, whatever. Um, so I think this is a really special group. So really just trying to savor this moment. Um, but, you know, how much better could would it have been if, if everything goes our way and, and we're able to take care of business Saturday. So, um, you know, like I said, I really care about this group and I want nothing more to, to be able to form, perform well for them Saturday. And I know they wanted to do the same thing for me and, and the other guys on the team. Brett, just uh, you mentioned the confidence you got from the quarterfinal round. That was the your first overtime experience of the season. Duke's had uh, three or four and uh, of those experiences themselves. And Joe Robertson scored three game winners in overtime. Can you just speak on the uh, the confidence winning in overtime gave you? And if you do uh, go uh, to those lengths uh, on Saturday, just how prepared you guys are as a defense to, to get the job done? Yeah, no doubt. I think, you know, going back to last year and even this year, you know, you know, even if it wasn't necessarily an overtime game, we were in um, some pretty tightly contested games, whether it was Hopkins and, um, you know, the regular season of the Big Ten tournament, we were definitely were in some games where we had a tooth and claw, whether it was come back from a deficit or, um, you know, have to keep teams at bay and keep our lead. Um, so I think, you know, whether it's overtime or not, we've been in those situations before. And uh, like you said, Duke's been in those situations as well. Um, so, when you know, there's two good teams like this and you get to this point in the year, you're going to be in games like that. So. Um, as far as that goes, if it comes down to that Saturday, I know we'll be ready, and uh, obviously they will be ready as well. So, Hey, Brett, uh, I think back to a couple of years ago when I met you at the Under Armour game, and uh, talk about what it means to you to win for these seniors, and also what it means, uh, what has Nick Grill meant to your development? Because uh, you your game is so elevated now. And how much has Grill uh, contributed to that? Yeah, no doubt. Um, like I said before, this is a, a really special group. And I think unless you're a part of it and, and you've got to see, you know, what we've done together every single day, you know, it really is hard for, for people on the outside to understand, um, you know, inseparable bonds that I know I'll have for the rest of my life. And like you said, specifically with, with the seniors, um, you know, Jared and, and, and Grill, um, those guys are, are phenomenal, you know, um, two guys that are not, you know, awesome athletes and, and awesome lacrosse players, but two of the, the better teammates and, and people I've been around. So um, as far as Grill goes, he's been huge for me, you know, super, super selfless guy who, who's always, you know, willing to lend a hand. And, um, you know, he, he really is the epitome of what it means to be a Terp and a great teammate. So I can't say enough good things about Nick Grill, and, and he's a huge part of our success and, and my personal success for this year. So. I want nothing more to be able to go out there Saturday and play well for him and, and uh, you know, hopefully uh, finish the job. Best of luck. Thank you. Really appreciate it, guys. All right. Thanks, Brett. Thanks, everybody. We'll